Van der Poel attacks. He likes the blue touch paper and goes for glory. Julian Alaphilippe in his wake rides a bigger gear. James Bernal next up. But uh, Matthew Van der Poel, the sheer power of this man. Van der Poel opens the gap. New champion is crowned. Matthew van der Poel at the head of Avers. He's celebrating already. The Dutch national road race champion has delivered in fine style. He takes victory. in the World Tour. He's exhausted. He's out on his wheels. But he's the winner of Stage 5 of Torino Adriatico.
the yellow jersey, Matthew van der Poel of Alpha Synthetics launches as though he's been shot out of a cannon on the Mule de Bretagne. What an attack by Matthew van der Poel. Matthew van der Poel goes again. If he has a time, a little bit of a gap, he is going to get the yellow jersey at the end of today's stage. He is gone. Oh my field. goodness. Well, this is incredible. This is a dream if he pulls this off. But Mathieu van der Poel is resurgent. He is dominant. He's going to be the rider who wins the stage. Mathieu van der Poel points to the sky. Mathieu van der Poel. Is he going to pull on the yellow jersey that his granddad Poo Poo never did? The stage victory is the, the symbolic. The symbolic. You're gonna be yellow jersey, yeah. Matthew. I have no words. Really, uh, I don't know what to say. Who were you, who were you thinking of when you crossed the line? Yeah, to make it in <laughs> This is an amazing Tour de France, but these riders now are still fighting for the stage win. It's the yellow jersey himself. He's a powerful man. He is not unknown at winning a sprint, but we don't see him, Matthew Van der Poel, as a sprinter. And Matthew Van der Poel in the yellow jersey doing the lead out for Tim Merrillian. He is literally racing for one, two, and maybe three seconds. That's what he's got to grit his teeth and hope for if he's to keep yellow. If he goes three seconds the wrong way, he will lose yellow. As he just about clips those barriers, he's taking every possible chance, gets back quickly into the time trial position. He needs a 32 minutes, 38. He is after going to produce the sprint of his life. He's got 10 seconds, 10 seconds to keep yellow. He comes over the line, he's done it. That is absolutely incredible, Bob.